Why Hawaii? Ha, great question. Why not? Um, it's Hawaii. Um, it's nice, but <laughs> you seem a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hard charging. <laughs> and what I noticed in Hawaii is they drive the speed limit or lo- or slower. Or slower. <laughs> so it's completely like there's island time and then there's like, you know, what we do here in America, right? Like the 48 states, the two to very different speeds. Yeah. So I would say the two main things was uh, getting out of the pandemic in LA and then uh, proximity to Brandon Turner, one of my mentors. Um, I went on vacation uh, to Hawaii around the time, as soon as I quit the second company I was working for, um, I wanted to take a long vacation. I went to Hawaii. Um, we ended up meeting Brandon. Um, he invited me to a mastermind that was like literally 10 days later. And I said, yes, I came back. That's where I met Ryan Pineda, where I you know built that relationship with Brandon and several other amazing uh, entrepreneurs, investors. And um, I kind of left with the th- thought of that, that second trip, the mastermind, like, man, there's a lot of ugly houses here too. Like, I, you know, <laughs> you imagine Hawaii and you think like it's perfect, but there's a lot of fixer uppers, fixer uppers there too. So I left thinking like, well, what if I could flip houses in Hawaii? Um, but it was just kind of a seed planted. But then like a year passed by and then the pandemic hit. And then, you know, Brandon hit me up and said, hey, you know, if you're uh, you know, open to maybe, you know, working and doing some deals over here in Hawaii, why don't you, you know, you love it, come out here. So it was kind of like an open invitation, mm-hmm. um, nothing too formal. And then we kind of worked some things out, but um, ended up, he decided to kind of focus more on obviously bigger pockets and uh, the open door capital and whatnot. But he left the door open for me to go out there, be a little bit closer to him. You know, there's also other investors in Maui. But you're right. Like Maui has been pretty slow paced. But I do travel back to L.A. And then um, about a year ago, I started living part time in Mexico for kind of that reason too. you that, it, you know, Maui, Oahu is a little bit better fit for me overall mm-hmm. with pace wise because there's more to do. Um, but like Maui's special. So. Um, it'll always be close to my heart, but yep. right now I am kind of transitioning to moving a little bit closer back to LA because we have grown the business to a point where it just makes more sense for me to be there, not not so remote. But I, the main reasons were because I was getting out of LA. It was a, it wasn't a cool place to be during the pandemic. And no, I don't think I, anyone likes LA during the pandemic. <laughs> and I mean, then, we uh, had uh, was it Havasu became a really hot spot. Oh yeah, uh, during the pandemic. All right, so then uh, let's talk about you know flipping remotely. So you're the visionary living in Hawaii. Will is executing within LA, but you guys are also in four states. You guys, you guys started in LA and then and then started adding states, or like did you guys like immediately go in multiple states because you went multiple marketing channels. So yeah. well, no, it was the multiple marketing channels were mainly in LA. But when Alex, you know, landed in Hawaii and we had boots on the ground, now you know now we're able to say, okay, well, what if we were to get a property out there? Mm-hmm. So Hawaii kind of spearheaded our our growth into multiple states, um, and then actually, you know, when you guys you live in Hawaii. Yeah, we have about four active, pro- yeah, four active projects on three different islands right nice. now. So we have one oh, on the big island, different islands too. Yeah, yeah. Oahu and and Maui. So it's multiple islands, multiple states. Um, you know, if there's a deal and and it needs, you know, repairs and needs work done, um, you know, it's typically something that's within our expertise. Mm-hmm. So we're going to try and get into that. Yeah. So let's talk about the. So the way I would describe it is that we were, you know, California based, and then I moved to Hawaii, so we did some deals there. But we figured that the market to a very unique market and we'll take deals as you know i think that will make the most sense for us or things that maybe we want to keep but we're really not looking to scale that and then we bought in arizona because we, we found that to be the best for our multifamily kind of targets and goals and then we happened to buy something in air in um, las vegas recently that just kind of fell in our lap and you know we've got other things that have come up potentially there but so predominantly, I, i'd say it's more accurately to say three states and four yeah, yeah. predominantly la and, and hawaii yeah, yeah. which are nice markets to flip in. So yeah. 